So year nines, we're coming to the end of our writing to advise unit. And today I'd like you to have a go at this assessment task. So we're going to be bringing together everything that you've learned about writing to advise. Your task is to create an advice leaflet for teenagers on how to avoid boredom during lockdown. Things you'll need to remember then. Think carefully about your language. Is it suitable for your audience and purpose? Think about presentational features. We've done lots of work on presentational features. So think about what makes, uh, what makes things stand out. Include counter argument. You might not want to get up at 8 a.m. and start schoolwork, comma, but so then you'd need to give a good reason why teenagers should be getting up and getting on with their schoolwork. And as I put at the bottom, draw on personal experience. What are the things that are getting you and your friends through lockdown? It might not be stuff that you would normally do, playing board games with your family, going for a walk every day. But think about, think about what's actually helping you through this experience. So just to give you the pathways and what we need to be doing for each pathway for secure then ensuring your language matches your purpose audience and form so making sure you are writing to advise that it's aimed at teenagers and it is in the form of a leaflet including counter arguments as we've just mentioned varying your sentence length and organizing your writing into paragraphs so make sure that your writing is a suitable length for teenagers we've talked about this in this unit of work and in the past when we've done work thinking about different audiences Use punctuation accurately and for effect and use language for emphasis and for emotive effect. Use repetition to emphasize your viewpoint. So thinking about fear rises and getting some of those persuasive techniques into your um, advice writing. Using pronouns such as you and we to involve the audience. So talking to the audience directly. Another uh, persuasive technique, including rhetorical questions to make you re the reader question their own viewpoint. For exceeding, include the views of others in the form of evidence, quotations and expert opinions. In your writing, use a variety of sentence structure and styles. Make sure your writing is organised, detailed and developed. Use a range of punctuation accurately and for effect. And for highest, obviously, all the secure and exceeding stuff, as well as making sure your writing is clear, accurately organised, as well as crafted, detailed and developed. Using impactful and sophisticated language and complex punctuation accurately and for effect. Obviously, you still need to be focusing on the teenage audience, though. So don't try using too many really difficult words that teenagers might think haven't got a clue what that means. Using a variety of sentence lengths and styles for effect and using a variety of sentence openings. So you ought to spend up to an hour on this piece of work, a little bit longer um, for this one, but I'd really like you to have a good go at bringing together everything that we've learned over the last couple of weeks. Again, with all of your work, it'd be lovely if I could see some. So once you've created your leaflet, whether that's um, writing it by hand or doing it on the computer, if you could email it to me at my school email address, that would be absolutely fantastic. I'd love to see what you've been doing or any other work or put it on folder and I'll I'll hopefully be able to find it there. Okay, about an hour then, off you go.